Hey, Wendy here. Just wanted to share this video from Rise Together. I'll just play a minute of it. It's 20 minutes and 20 seconds long. I will put the original link below. Definitely worth the watch. All about the money. Follow the money. Games against U.S. gold. The outcome of the ESF's foreign aid was obvious. By 1960, the U.S. gold supply was down to 18 billion against 19 billion in foreign claims. The United States was essentially broke. The gold outflow begins. The gold outflow began in 1958. America's foreign aid and military security programs started the gold trickling outwards. It swelled to almost torrential proportions in 1960. The situation had begun to cause panic. Confidence in the greenback was failing. The dollar, the U.S. economy, and the world monetary system were in danger of collapsing. This was a problem. You see, on the day the dollar crashes, the entire world will focus on the agency that was supposed to protect its value. How do you think Americans, with their retirement savings wiped out, living through the Second Great Depression, would feel about Project Artichoke, a 15-year, multi-billion dollar search for ways to control the human mind? I think the American people would be quite angry about how the ESF wasted the U.S.'s monetary wealth, and a lot of people would end up in jail for a very long time. So people at the Treasury started defending the dollar like their lives depended on it, because they did. That's right, lock them up.